You created this incredible course and now you're finding that some people are just not going through it. Wouldn't it be great that you can reward your customers by actually giving them points every time they completed a course and after they accumulated a certain amount of points, you can actually reward them with swag, free coaching advice, or whatever you wanna give as an offer to keep them engaged inside your course. Well, today we're gonna to show you how to do exactly that by using gamification inside of Hilo. So let's get right to it. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna create gamification inside a high level using the new math operations. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna reward people uh, points for every time they complete a module or a category inside of the course. And after they accumulate a certain amount of points, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna alert the customer, the owner of the account, the course creator, that they have accumulated a certain amount of points. So then in turn, they can reach out or they can offer them a higher level service, or they can offer them a free swag, uh, like a hat or a shirt or anything of that sort, or a free coaching session. So any of those things, but the, the course creator will come up with whatever they feel that the proper reward is. But this is what we're gonna be doing today. So what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go over to the left-hand side. And the first thing that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to create a custom field that's gonna be able to hold the math operation or the number that we're gonna keep calculating over and over. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over to the left-hand uh, left side and we're gonna hit custom fields. We're gonna hit add custom field. We're gonna create a numerical custom field and we're gonna call it course gamification just to make it super easy. All right. And the course name is VSA 3.0. So we know exactly which course it is. And we're gonna go ahead and hit save. Now that I've made that happen, what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go over, uh, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go to the automations, I'm gonna go into the actual one uh, that we're rolling through, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create it right in that folder that we created. We like to keep things organized, it just makes it really easy to navigate uh, once you're inside. Uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come over here, I'm gonna start from scratch, we're gonna create a new workflow. Now the first thing we're gonna do is every time they complete a particular category inside of the course, we want to reward them with 10 points. And unfortunately right now, because uh, we can create a massive automation that's going to have all kinds of if else statements and all that, but what we're going to do is we're going to keep it incredibly simple and we're going to create one for each module. Uh, because again, we might want to reward people differently depending on where they are in the module. So what we're going to do is we're going to come over here and we're going to uh, call it gamification. And you can create a separate folder too for this. It doesn't really matter. Um, we're going to give it uh, the course name again. And we're going to say module one, or just to keep it really simple, category one. All right, just check our spell in there. And then what we're going to do is uh, we're going to go over to our membership uh, triggers right here, and we're going to look for category completed. When the category gets completed, we're going to select our category, select our product. We know that it is the VSA system three. We're going to go to select the category and we're going to do part one done so we're going to save that trigger let's actually change this to part one and keep it to the name and i like to know how many points this person's getting so i'm going to do 10 points all right and then what i'm going to do is after i renamed it again it's for completing the section one and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to come over here i'm going to go to the math operations you can type in math and now I'm gonna remember that field that I created, that was the course gamification. I'm gonna click on that. I'm gonna add 10 points and I'm gonna update the field of gamification, all right? And what I'll do is I'll take this, I'm gonna save it. And you know what? I kinda of almost want this to be um, a different folder just because it might get a little hectic. So I'm gonna name it table uh, 09 gamification. Okay, actually my spelling is horrific. Um, and then I'm gonna come over here and uh, I'm just gonna again label the course. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. All right, so, and then uh, the one I just created inside of that, I'm just gonna move that over. So let me go to the next, let me move it over to that folder. Again, I just wanna keep things incredibly organized. When working inside this system, uh, I can tell you that uh, the better things are named, the easier it is things to, uh, for things to find and the better it is for you to navigate. But now that I created this first one, this next one is gonna be super simple. I'm just gonna clone it 
I'm going to enable it part two. Get rid of the copy. Hit create. Come over here. Change this to be part two. Save trigger. Again, we're just keeping, we're, we're just going to keep adding 10 points and 10 points. So the goal is if there's like 10 modules, a, a total score of 100, and you can you can change the points to whatever you want. 50 points, 30 points, it doesn't really honestly matter. Um, you could just make it as much as you want. And what we're going to do is we're just going to keep adding. I'm not going to bore you here with uh, keep adding the, the whole entire gamification uh, side, but the goal is to reward people regardless for every time. And in your intro video to your course, you actually want to state that. You want to, you want to say that, hey, um, we offer rewards for every time you complete a certain module of the course. And after you accumulate a similar amount of points, here are the different things that you can achieve and get. So for instance, uh, at 50 points, you earn a free coaching session. At 100 points, you earn a badge. At 150 points, you earn uh, whatever it is that it might be. Like even, you, you, I mean, you can go pretty ex uh, exorbitant and crazy and just to really ensure that people go through the engagement, all depending on what you want to do. But the goal is that when they hit a certain amount of points, that they know that they have to hit category completed um, inside of your course area. So then they can get a word of the points because if they don't, then they don't get a word of the points. But talk about like right at the beginning to really increase engagement. If you do this right at the beginning, uh, they know that this is coming. And as long as you stay on top of it, and we're going to help you do that with some automations, uh, you'll be able to reward these customers and just keep people super engaged in your course and really getting the value of all the things they need to do. So what we're going to do here is come back out of here. Another thing that uh, you might want to do is let's make believe um, that you want them to complete certain actions. So for instance, uh, with this particular course creator, um, you know, it's, it's creating a YouTube channel and creating your first four videos. Well, what we want to do is we want proof that they did it. So maybe at, during one of the course modules, you have a form at the bottom that they have to post the links to their four videos. And after they post the link for those four videos and complete that form, they get awarded 50 points. So, and you can embed that form that you create right inside of here, inside the course, for them to get those additional points. Okay, so a lot of great ideas you can you can leverage here, but this is a really simple way to do it. Now, I'm not gonna bore you with going through all of them, but what I am gonna do is show you what happens afterwards. So what I'm gonna do is create a, a reward, right? Like, or a notification that I gotta give somebody the reward. So I'm gonna start from scratch again. And what this is gonna be, we're just, I know there's about 10 modules, so we're gonna say this is uh, number 11. This is not a module, but just number 11 in the steps and gamification. I'll, I'll learn to spell it one day, I swear. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here, BSA. Again, you just want to keep the naming conventions pretty clear. And then what I'm going to do is reward tier one, 50 points. And that's probably, obviously, you want to increase like the level of what things are, like the rewards as you go through. Well, 50 points maybe is a 15-minute coaching session. We're going to keep it super simple just to do it. So... What I want to do is um, I'm looking for uh, when the contact changed, all right, because it is a field inside the contact. So uh, I'm going to go to my custom fields. Where's gamification? Has changed. Okay. So I want this to constantly trigger and, and go on every time that field is updated. So the way to do that is every time this field is changing, whether you're adding 10 points, 20 points, 50 points, I want to have this thing checked. That's why I want the starting trigger to be that. And more importantly, I want to make sure I allow for multiple because I want to make sure um, this, uh, you know, reaches a certain point, uh, but it's always being checked and it's always running when this contact, uh, um, you know, the contact changed. And all I did again, because this can get a little confusing, is contact changed. I went to filters. I found the field that I created and I set it to has changed. So then when points get added, I want this uh, event trigger to happen. So now that that's going on, what I want to do is, is create an if else. Now, when contact details, because remember the contact details is where the field exists. Gamification equals, like I need it to equal 50 points. I can do greater than, but then greater than is going to trigger if I have different tiers at 100, 150. So it's going to be kind of weird. So I want it to do when it's at 50. Okay, super easy. All right, double equals when it's at 50, hit save action. When it's at 50, I want to one, alert the user. 
sent them a nice email. So I'm gonna go user, full name, user, email, and then come over here. You reached 50 points. Congratulations. All right, and then once I do here, first name, congrats on 50 points. You have earned a 15 minute coaching session. And it doesn't have to be this. I'm just giving you an example, but it's an idea of like where you can take this. Uh, you congrats on 50 points. You have earned a 15 minute coaching session. Okay. And then book your time now. Okay. Come over here. Just some values. User. Email. Oh, user signature. Sorry. We like to do user signatures to make sure that we're staying compliant. Uh, and then what we're going to do is we're going to hit save action. Awesome. The other thing I want to do is make sure I alert the person letting him know that this person's got 50 points, the course creator. Uh, this will be an email. Um, and again, this will be, um, you know, I'm going to sign it to a particular user. All right. And then what we're going to do is your um, person, your customer, or you know what, we can make it even more personal. So we'll do customer full name. Just earned a coaching session. Awesome. You come over here, custom values, first name. Oh, this is going to the user. So we'll do user first name. Your customer. Colin. Full name. Just earned 50 points. Be on the lookout for be on the lookout for a calendar thing. Just so it's super simple, just to alert the customer. All right. And then if you're into the tagging, maybe even give them a custom tag. Um, 50 gamification. Again, keeping it very easy. Uh, we'll name it the course, BSA 3.0. And then we can even do like a 50 point earner. How cool is that though? I mean, you're going to be able to tag people. You're going to be able to uh, search for people that have gamification. The other cool thing is uh, that they just came out with. If you now want to search for all the people that were super engaged in your course, because you want to sell them to a higher coaching program, you're now going to have the ability to do that because look what else you can do. Because now that I, one, I created uh, the different point structures of giving them points. Uh, what I'm going to, and then I created a way to reward them afterwards. Well, what if I want to search the people to see how many points people have? Well, what I can do is I can go to contacts. I can come over here. I can go, I already have a clean filtered list that I'm running through all the unsubscribes because I want to make sure I don't, you know, anybody that's not engaged or whatever else. And by the way, you can give negative points for people who unsubscribe or don't engage. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to come all the way down and basically um, create, if I go into a custom field, let's go to our custom fields. I believe it's all the bottom. I can do a search, but I just kind of wanted to show you where it was. Gamification greater than 50. I can apply this, save as new. And what I can do then is gamification over 50 points. And now I'll be able to basically sort the different individuals based on that. Uh, this is going to be great for lead scoring too. We're going to do this in another video, but wanted to go over gamification, what you can do with your course. And I hope you enjoy this video.